you can't limit RPM BNSF because um, RPM again is controlled by the simulation what you could do is limit the throttle so the throttle won't let you go above a notch you see you can only do say notch one or two to start off with all right let's get that in there put the brakes on this time just for the giggles Not all dump fire will actually kill the game for some reason, dear killer cans. It should do, but not all of them do. You should pretty much assume your game is dead once you've got a dump file, though. Anything that works is completely uh, at risk, and I would probably back up before I do any more saves in case your save is actually corrupt. DJSB, this scenario is about 35 minutes. It's not long. Right. I'm going to pay less attention to the chat and focus on the scenario this time. Well, if you know what you're doing, BNSF, go ahead and do it. got a couple of trains coming through, haven't we? Both 232s, actually. Ludmilla. The TEE train behind it. two broken down trains on the line. That one looks like a dead one as well. First half of this scenario is just waste, basically waiting here at the station, right? BNSF, this is part one. We'll have another go at part one. If part one doesn't work, then we'll probably skip part two as well. Until I can make part one work. It seems somehow wrong to do part uh, two before we've got part one done. Are they the reds or the whites? Now they look like whites, that's a bit better. Don't forget, I think it's the last, the last mo minute, mo little bit of the sale if the sale is even still on. The hamster cheeks, isn't it, or something? Um, X shooter. Till films. This is PC. It's the 760 machine. Not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Oh, Selen's on the 25th. Oh, there you go, then.
hamster back. Yeah, that's it. Hamster back. Hamster cheese. Well, there you go then. 25th is when the sale ends, so uh, get your bargains on. I bet on the 26th I'm going to be on the stream saying, when's the next sale? Don't leave it too late then, DJSB. Right. Keep forgetting, we're restricted monitoring, don't go too fast. Should be able to end that. Still only 40 limit, but. Evening, C. Rogers. There's some new marketplace items got released today, folks, as well. I can't remember what they are. It's a couple of wagons and a canal scenery pack. Apologies, I missed who that was. Necron65, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Yeah, so yeah, a couple of wagon pack, UK wagon packs, I think, and um, the canal pack came out. Good stuff. Right, 110 limit. We've got no PZB stuff going on, so we're good to go to the full line speed. London line in the class 59 at 13.99. That's that's insane. Another one that I found today was um, Gemmel Portsmouth Direct line, the class 90, the 444, and the WS 66. The whole thing is 12 pound 49. Two routes, three locos. Decent routes actually as well. Right, we'll get the bump to one twenty in a moment. Twarog, it's the UK it's called the UK collection. It's got raised and main line, Portsmouth Threat Line. It's got the um, Class 66 Freightliner, the Class 90 um, Express Passenger Train, and it's got the uh, 444 EMU that goes to the Portsmouth Direct Line, uh, all in the pack, and it's £12.49, so it's basically half the price of a route, and it's got two routes and three locos. The Class 90 is very nice, isn't it? Going down a hill now. Why do people like the North London line? Because it's a densely packed um, commuter line, lots of stations on it, and it's um, it's very recognisable for you know a lot of people know the London area, and uh, those stations are all very recognisable. Same as South London network, uh, it's very recognisable for people in the who know the area, and to be to some extent, even if you're not from the area. Yeah, the Class 90 was made by AP. I think it was wagons that actually made the uh, the train, but AP certainly published it through the uh, steam. I mean, with North London Line, if you're into commuter services, North London Line is a great example of that. If you if you like non-stop express, 
then uh, is also liner. What, what do you mean, train fever? Yes, it is linear. A lot of routes are linear train fever. There's nothing wrong with it being linear. It's still a great passenger experience. Right, we're coming up on Steinberg. A linear route, um, I guess it's basically, it's a, uh, uh, it hasn't got, you know, like South London Network, it's a network route. Most routes are, are uh, linear. Network routes are quite complicated. coming up shortly afterwards and then we're held at the station by the looks of it I didn't acknowledge it did I? No, I didn't know. That was a distance signal? <laughs> I didn't realise that was a distance signal, it looked like a normal, normal signal to me. Right. because we're in monitoring now. We've actually somehow ended up later than we were last time. Uh, so this is Munich Garmisch Augsburg. So you can see this is Munich Garmisch going down here, and this is Munich Augsburg going up there. This is what Donna Danny's joined routes. So we're coming up from the Gau uh, Garmisch line from Tutzing up into Munich, and then part two we go out the other way. Right. 
to 60. Right, let's see if we can't figure out what happens at this next one. So where am I missing the advanced warning and a speed reduction? station called Glasgow. Yeah, there's a whole place called Glasgow. Uh, Josh, yes, the BR442 is the Talent 2. That's the one we're driving, the Talent 2. Uh, Smeagol, I'll put a key on the form. Comedians are out tonight. Somewhere down here we get a sudden speed drop. I think it's once we get into the 160 area. Ed, we have had to restart it, the game crashed. Good. Do I ever make videos just for YouTube? Uh, very occasionally, Simon. I've been meaning to, I meant over the Christmas period to uh, do something, but... Alright, that was the warning for 60. by the next signal.
So, now we've got to wait for the next one. This should get us up to 160 again in a minute. Right, we've got the 160, now I need to watch for the uh, signals and see whether or not we get the warning of the drop back to 60 again. That signal was fine. That says 60. No, there was no advance warning of that 60 drop. Right, I don't feel quite so bad now then. No, I, I messed up the planning tonight, Deadly. So I'll do yours uh, on Monday. Sorry about that. NSF, um, I have absolutely no idea, I, I expect not. the green line on the map? Uh, I don't know which one you mean. Do you mean the line that's changed colour and is now red? If so, that's my path on this route. Right, we've got a speed drop to 100. The TTG release in route called Munich Gap at Augs. Well, it's Munich, Garmin, Park, Kirschen, and Augsburg. But that wouldn't fit, not with also, and also long scenario now. Right, let's reduce speed, coming down to. Uh,
down to the 100. Housing's coming up ahead. Let's see if we can't get all the way here without having a problem, shall we? Right, we're coming into Pazing, and then I think the next stop is Munich. We shall find out. We made a train spotting on West Somerset Railway. Nice! No idea how it works, but it does. <laughs> Ninja Joker, we're still on the first scenario because the game um, dumped, so we restarted the first scenario. Stuff going on in the shadows behind me. got any kind of monitoring going on. Hundred and twenty KMH. I think our next station is actually Munich. This always feels like it's quite close to Munich, but then you look down and we've got five point five kilometers just to the waypoint, let alone actually to Munich station. It feels wrong going 120 kilometers now when you know the station is just up there in front of us, but you know, it's a long way away actually. I'm not sure what the best way of picking up the Class 801 is, um, A. Hanuman. That's a good question. Maybe Steve has an answer. I thought it was given to everybody, but maybe that was only um, everybody at a particular time. Uh, Simon, the um, the way that the blended braking on the B the talent works is that when it actually gets down below ten miles, uh, ten kilometres an hour, it switches to the air brakes. Uh, it does a fixed application of the air brakes, so you'll see 
um, the brake cylinder um, flick up as the uh, as the train comes to a stop. Dorito, I don't mind you sending me that scenario. I shall certainly take a look at it. Perhaps take a look over the weekend and uh, run it on uh, next week. Need to get back to running some train spotting scenarios. I haven't run any in a while, which has been commented on, and I have taken those comments seriously. But you can't stop a train on the dynamic brake brake being kid. Very simply, the way the dynamic brake works is it turns speed into braking. So if you haven't got any speed, you haven't got any braking. So eventually, you don't have enough speed to do any braking. So you have to use the um, air brakes to actually stop the train, and the Talent does that all automatically, so you control the dynamics, and then once you get below 10 kilometres an hour, it switches over to the um, air brakes and does a fixed application. Speed reduction to 60 coming up. signal, puts the 1000 hertz magnet, it's an expect speed reduction which is the 60 coming up. Right car was asking about a tutorial on German scenario uh, signaling. Uh, rather than doing it while I'm trying to run a scenario I'm actually putting together a set of slides and so forth so that I can actually talk about it and then run a scenario. Don't forget, folks, I have also put laid down the gauntlet, or oh, thrown down the gauntlet, laid down the challenge, um, for you to uh, challenge me to the hardest PZB-enabled German scenarios that you've played. And uh, we'll have a fail fest one evening. We'll just have a PZB special, because I think that would be pretty awesome, actually. Oh, it's 40. Oh, green-yellow, of course it was 40. Misread that signal. What's that red thing that looks like a megaphone? That's a red thing that looks like a megaphone. It's used for getting people off my train. Right, we're just coming into Munich, which is the end of the scenario. So as I slow down here, if you watch the... Uh, when I come in to stop at the station, you'll, if you look at the... Uh, the train, you'll notice that the uh, air brakes apply as well as the dynamics. It's a blended system. I'm not using the main air brake control, I'm just using the um, the other half of the throttle, the dynamic throttle, the uh, this half of the on here because it's a combined handle. Jaeger96, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Josh, that's really interesting, I've not heard of that. Have you contacted the support at uh, Rail Driver to see what they come up with? As we go below 10 kmh, you see the air brakes have just applied down here. There's a small application of air just gone on, which actually brings the train to a stop. Are you leaning on the MPH kmh? Well, I have to assume not. <coughs> I'm not sure what would even cause that problem. That's really interesting.
That we were late, but we got there in the end. Right. I used emergency brakes eight times, so I kind of had to. <laughs> Suddenly finding 60 kmh speed limits coming up. Right, what was next? Where's my notepad? Isle of Wight Metro! Oh yeah, this should be fun. I'm looking forward to this, actually. Press the right button. Now we've got the right button. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, Josh, I would definitely recommend flinging an email over to PI Engineering, raildriver.com, and uh, see what they say. Right, 